You know, a true man only needs one thing in his life. You know what that is? It's a good dog. That's right, boy. That's right. Companionship, emotional support, all right? And if the world goes to crap, you can eat them. What's cracking, mother truckers? I just want to welcome back myself to my own channel. I'm back, finally, thank God. I really gotta get some hardwood floors. I stumbled upon this list this morning. 20 things every man needs. Keyword there. And I'm thinking to myself like, I'm a man. Or so you think. <laughs> I want to make sure I have everything I need, obviously. So we're going to read this together. Should be fun. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Are you a man? A real one? Like a real man, are you? Like, do you have a penis? If you answered yes, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. I truly want to know how many real men we go watching these things. Actually, thinking about it now, hit that thumbs up button with your penis. Oh, rambling, gosh dang, root beer today, boy. Mm. Oh, no. Oh lord, oh no. Hey. I think that was the one. Ah! Ah! You know where to get it, baby. And just because I love y'all so much, use the code MANBOOBS at checkout and get 10% off your order. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. Oh, and much of the gosh dang day, don't want to forget. Gone fishing, baby. You're the real man if you don't like to fish. And if you don't like to fish, Open up them legs, because I bet you it smells like a bass. A good watch. Every man should at least own one good men's watch. You don't need a $5,000 Rolex. First of all, Rolexes are usually not $5,000. They're more around 20 or 30, okay? <laughs> the average, on average. But you should probably spend at least $500 or so on your finest chronometer. Chron chronometer. Cr okay, you save the chronometers or whatever the tits you call them for the women, all right, dude? We're talking about men watches, okay? Gosh dang it. Pretty sure you could just buy a Casio G-Shock and uh, put a battery in that thing and if if you need a new battery, you just put a new battery in. If we're talking about a men's watch, especially a real man that's probably gonna beat up a gosh dang watch, you don't wanna wear a Rolly on your wrist, you don't wanna wear an Omega, you don't wanna wear a gosh dang tag or a, a Breitling. Go down to the gosh dang Walmart, pick you up a freaking $15 G-Shock sitting on this gosh dang shelf. Buy that son of a dick and it'll last you the rest of your gosh dang life. And it'll tell time better than a freaking Rolly will. A 50K Rolly at that, okay? No winding needed. A well-made blazer, huh? Okay. Yeah, we're definitely just gonna skip. Actually, no, 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 I, I agree with this one, man. I feel like every man should have a well-made blazer, okay? It a 1979 Chevrolet blazer, that is. <laughs> okay, if we're talking about two separate men here and I got one guy wearing a well-made blazer and one guy with a little dirt on him, Wearing a gosh dang Carhartt jacket. Which one am I gonna take more serious? Uh, answer it yourself. Moving on. Nice socks. Oh, I see what's going on here now. This website's just trying to sell stuff, man. They got links. They got links on the website where basically, oh, go buy dress socks. Go buy. This is what I don't understand, okay? This is what it gets you, it grinds my gears. Anytime I type in something has to do with men or man now on YouTube or Google, I get some freaking metrosexual looking dude with glasses telling me how to be more manly. Stop. I'm ready to bring us back to the days when men were men. Right? Comfortable dress shoes, eh? Wow, guys, this seems like a really great- No! When is a real man ever gonna wear comfortable dress shoes? A wedding once in your life? Maybe your own? That's about it, son. You really want some freaking get some gosh dang boots, okay? Get some comfortable boots. I love stuff down. Check them out. Look at the description box. I'm just playing. No, okay. How about we insert our own here, okay? Maybe we want we don't we ain't talking about cowboy boots. Maybe we're talking about actual work boots, cause well, uh, real men um actually work, okay? They don't live off the gosh dang government and, and sit on themanual.com and write articles about being a man, which you know nothing about. I should just make a video on. I feel like that would do good. Do you guys want to see me make a video on boots? Let me know in the comments below. Mmm. 
Okay, now here's one I could agree with. A pocket knife. Yes, every man does need a gosh dang pocket knife. What am I rocking today? How about that? Spider Co, baby. Yeah, that right there is the Paramilitary 3, the Maximum Steel, the gray G10 handle. Beautiful, everyday carry for me. Mm, I gosh dang love it, man. Now, this is a $300 knife, okay? Almost $300. You don't need this, all right? One of the manliest men I know, my best friend, Fat Boy, okay? That some dick carries like a $2 gosh dang Chinese knife from Amazon that has freaking flames on it like my El Camino used to gosh dang have. Looking holographic like a Pokemon card. All you gotta make sure is it's sharp and it'll cut. It will kill. Yeah, baby. Here's another one, dog. And I just happen to have mine right here. Um... Multi-tool, baby. This is my SOG power assist. Like, ding a man, you need to trim a little noise here, huh? Get up in there, dude. This thing's got everything. It's got a knife. It's got a freaking saw blade. It's got a Phillips head, a flat head, all these other little gadgets, all in one little tool that you can just put in your truck, put in your pocket, put in your bag, wherever the tits are going. Dude, this comes in gosh dang handy. Every man actually needs one of these. Don't come to me talking about freaking socks! Quality luggage. Yeah, another one I don't really agree with, man. Okay, I actually travel all the freaking time, okay? When I'm making vidges, when I'm hunting, when I'm fishing. Quality luggage, dude? You're kidding me. Does a man truly need quality luggage? The manual's just trying to sell stuff here, dude. A decanter. You know, I actually don't think I have a decanter, man. You know, personally, I think as a real man, we're talking about drinking straight out the gosh dang bottle, man. A real man, when we're talking about logical sense, making logical sense, okay, we're talking about like, I just wanna get some alcohol in my system after a long day at work, okay? We're not talking about like, oh yeah, let me invite some boys over um, from the golf club to entertain them. Let me get my decanter out here. Ooh, let me, let me show my whiskey glasses, all right? Come on! You're a real man, you wanna get that whiskey in your gosh dang system. Drink it out the freaking bottle! Oh, look at that, whiskey glasses. Skip! A few great books. A lot of people think that men are just hardworking. That's about it, you know? Like, oh, well, I work hard. Yeah, that's the, that's the true core of a man, is a hard worker, okay? Men are biologically providers, you know what I'm saying? It's like we're built to work hard. But physically working hard is one thing. Mentally working hard is the other thing. Building your intelligence is something that I think every man actually needs. Art! Ha! Keep on scrolling, baby. Buy a friggin' book. Music player. Hmm. Every man needs a way to crank out tunes or listen to a podcast or NPR. I feel like if a man has a music player, he probably lives in a gosh dang apartment building in New York City. Um, and he's about to invite uh, a girl over and roofie her. I don't know, maybe that's just seen that in a movie, but yeah, I would skip the gosh dang frickin' music player. Use your cellular device or something like that, man. You ever heard of Spotify? When you're on there, look me up, Outlaw. Appreciate it. High quality hygiene products. I've met a lot of people, right? And uh, the guys that come up to me, that I met, that watch the videos or something like that, you know, I, I met a lot of them that are, they're, they're awesome people, but sometimes, you know, when I go to shake the hand or, Get a little close for a hug or something like that. A little, little stinky, okay? Just a little, little, little stinky. I would suggest uh, some high quality hygiene products for some of them, all right? When I'm talking about high quality hygiene products, I'm talking like uh, soap and water. A good set of towels. Where do they get this crap? Perhaps a bathrobe is the more commonly thought of a manly post shower linen. What the f what? The Who wrote this? A grill. Hell yeah, dude. Now this is what I can get down with. A grill. Every man needs a great grill, okay? Especially when you are entertaining people, right? When your boy Bobby calls you, hey, hey outlaw, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do poker night at your house, man. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna gosh dang, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna grill some burgers. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, dude, gonna, gonna, yeah, we're gonna grill some burgers. But it's gonna take me a while, cause, uh, well, I only got a George Foreman. The fuck? You don't need no fancy Traeger or Big Green Egg, all right? Just a regular propane grill that'll get the job done. Quality cookware. I thought this was a man list, dude. Leave that to the gosh dang women. Great chef knife. I agree. But if you're a real man, you're in the gosh dang wilderness surviving by yourself. All you need is a good knife to chop off that rabbit foot and eat it raw. Ugh. Holy shit, dude. I don't know what it's gotten into me, man. I'm just excited that I got my YouTube channel back. A comfortable mattress. Duh. Okay, yeah. 
Let's let's hear some like actual like what happened to the men in this world, man? We're talking about mattresses. What about like a good wallet? Like let's talk about some actual man shit. And you know, we talk about this freaking comfortable mattress. You know, this is what like what what what, what all these men are becoming more feminine now, dude. Like I mean, oh, let's talk about sheets. The hell, dude? What do we got? One more sheets. Oh my! Who wrote this? Stephen John. I want to see a picture of you. Now I want y'all to do this one little thing for me, okay? I want y'all to tell me right now in the comments section one thing in your personal opinion what every man should own. Let me know down there in the comments section, baby. You know what mine will be. That's right. A gosh dang Gatling gun. I'm working on it, but soon I'll be man enough. Do it. A real man don't need much, folks. Good pair of boots, a can of dip, that's about it. Keep it freaking manly, bro. Brand Nick, he old Billy Country mother trucker. Yuppies think it's funny that my cousin is my brother. Born in a trailer in the middle of the woods. Shooting deer and drinking beer, it's all that's understood. Dip in my lip, much in my hand. Redneck nation on my back, we dominating fade to black. Getting drunk up in the back of the bourbon truck. I'm skinning bugs, shooting ducks, running them up, not giving a fuck.